Dear friends, it's good to be with you today. I'm sharing with you the last verses of the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus says, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. Those are the words that we sometimes in the church speak of as the Great Commission. Those were Jesus' parting words to his disciples before he was taken up into heaven. And they are important words, obviously. The reason that you are a believer in Christ and I am a believer in Christ today is because people have taken those words seriously and have shared the good news that we have in Jesus with us and with other people. People have, in other words, served the Lord in such a way that we have become disciples of Jesus by God's grace. But those words also obviously speak to us about how we are to be involved in the process of helping others to become disciples of Jesus. This is not work that we do in and of ourselves. This is work that God does through us, by his spirit, through his word. He is at work so that other people, just like we have come to know Christ, will also come to know Christ. And I think the question that we want to ask ourselves is, how am I making myself available to the Lord so that he can do that through me? In what ways does he have me involved in ministry that helps to lead people to Jesus? Perhaps it's through your connection with a local church. Perhaps it is through direct conversations and relationships that you have with other people. And we keep in mind as we think about making disciples that, that this is something that we want to be doing in the lives of people who already know Jesus, that we're helping them to grow as disciples and mature in their life with the Lord. But it, of course, also speaks to the idea of helping people who aren't yet part of the kingdom of God, that they may be brought into the kingdom through God's grace. The Lord is so very kind and gracious to us. He has brought us into his family. He wants to see others brought into his family. And what a privilege it is to be used by the Lord that we might help others to come to know him. So let's commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord that he may help us grow as disciples and that through us he can help other people come to know him and grow as disciples of Jesus. Let's pray about that. Lord, we thank you for those who have helped us to become Christians, people through whom we have heard good news and have believed it and have grown in that faith. Lord, would you please work through each of us so that other people likewise may come to faith in Jesus Christ and grow in that faith increasingly. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with me today. God bless you.